So my name is uh, Mani Sarathi. I'm an associate professor in chemical engineering and I do my research in the Clean Combustion Research Center. So I work in a center whose aim is to develop new types of combustion technologies that will minimize environmental impact while at the same time maximizing the efficiency of power generation systems. I'm Takash Gojobori. Uh, I'm working on uh, genomics. In particular, I'm interested in elucidating evolutionary history of organisms by uh, comparing uh, different organisms from the viewpoint of genomic information. My research is focused on using the structural biology methods to study um, molecular signal transduction um, in, in cells and uh, to understand how proteins function on a molecular basis, on a molecular level. We have some of the best experimental facilities for studying combustion processes available in the world. If you went to any other university in the world, you might find two or three of these experiments. If you went to a national research facility, you might find uh, 10 or 12 of these uh, experimental systems. But here in Kals, we have two dozen or so all in one university. Back in the UK, when I was uh, dealing with uh, my thesis and my bachelor's, um, I had a big problem with uh, finding equipment that I needed to do certain analysis. And in universities abroad, you would have to look for another, uh, like you have one equipment for the whole university. And for that, it's a, a challenge because you would have to commute from building to building with your own samples which have risk of contamination, risk of other um, of changes because of the time that is taken to move from one side to the next. Two aspects are so important uh, in conducting uh, my research. One aspect is DNA sequencing. It requires the most advanced technologies such as machines. I think Qualab has those machines the other aspect is data analysis and in terms of research uh, we conduct our own uh, uh, jobs but uh, before that the basic uh, data will be analyzed by Qualab services. At Kaos we have a fantastic setup of uh, high-end instruments, uh, the, probably the crowning be here, the Titan Cryos which we use for our research. We also have a whole arsenal of different NMR spectrometers. Um, we also have an in-house x-ray source which we can use for x-ray crystallography. So it's you're really well set up. We also have access to computing resources which enable us to make very high fidelity simulations of combustion systems. So here at Kaus we have access to not only Shaheen which is the 20th fastest supercomputer but also to many other clusters of a uh, smaller number of compute cells which still allow us to do day-to-day -day activities in high performance computing. And all of that is managed by a central core lab facility, which enables us as researchers to leverage the best in supercomputing facilities without having to worry about all the details of, of maintaining the facility. The core laboratories consist of 10 laboratories, but actually they're under one roof, one system, in which we've called the one lab model system. So all laboratories have the same policies, the same systems to follow, and projects can seamlessly transfer from, say, a research vessel that is acquiring data to the Red Sea, to a supercomputer, to this laboratory that we're in right now, the Visualization Core Laboratory. Uh, my research was focusing on drug discovery. Um, we've, we're focusing on finding bioactive compound um, endemic plants from Saudi Arabia. Um, the result of this uh, PhD project was uh, filing two patents in the US. As a PhD student, I got an opportunity to access uh, the main core labs around Kaos. Uh, this was very unique for me. Uh, usually, um, other students in university, in other universities, they don't have um, this unique access to their main core labs. Yeah, it's a very comfortable research environment. I wouldn't have done a PhD anywhere else. I promise you that. Like, I wasn't even planning on doing a, um, a PhD. But when I came here, um, I got very excited about it. So uh, I think it's a good place for a PhD. We also have fantastic staff. So 
So when people think about the core laboratories, not only is it fancy equipment, but it's the staff that can push the limits of this equipment, who take the time to learn our faculty and students' research to meet their ambitions and their needs. Core Labs offer facilities which are maintained continuously, which are run by people who really know what they're doing. So this is great, we can just produce the samples. And since these instruments are, they are used, but they're not so much overbooked that we have to wait for months. So we can typically wait for a day or two, maybe a week, but then we can get onto the machine. And that's how we gain time, which is very important. When people are really engaged in their science and they're not worrying too much about all these support activities, all these management tasks, because they're, they're provided to us in, in, in excess, I would say. And because we don't have to worry about those things, we can really focus on the science. Uh, living standard is so high, and uh, you can enjoy a very unique life to make so much close interaction with different people, different people originated from different countries. That's uh, culturally, you know, or intellectually, you will be stimulated. I think this is a very nice place. Out of my probably about 14, 15 team members, we have probably about 10 different nationalities. Uh, so really we have a wide uh, range of, of people working together. And it's not only, I think, interesting personally, but also it really brings different backgrounds, different ways to solving a problem together. And that is really scientifically also very important and very helpful. In a field such as ours where science is very much tied into the practical engineering and the marketability of a technology, we need to have that connection to industry. And being here at Cal we have good connection with many different industrial players. We have an entire department which focuses on, on networking with industry partners, bringing them to Cal letting them see what type of research we have, and developing uh, collaborations.